Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Physiology Learning. In today's Explain Why series, we are going to understand a simple concept that is why cardiac output is increased in beriberi. First of all, what is beriberi? Beriberi is a condition which happens due to the vitamin deficiency. Which vitamin deficiency particularly? Yes, it is vitamin B1 deficiency. There is a deficiency of vitamin B1 in beriberi. And in these patients, it is seen that their cardiac output is increased. Let us try to understand the reason behind it. Vitamin B1 is also called as thiamine. So, it can be called as thiamine deficiency also. In beriberi, what happens is there is thiamine deficiency. Because of this thiamine deficiency, there is decreased cellular ability to use up the nutrients. Now, all cells in the body are not getting adequate nutrients. So, what they will do? They will try to increase their nutrient supply. How do they do it? they increase the local metabolites. They increase the local metabolites. And these local metabolites, what they will do is, now nutrient is coming less. So, they will try to vasodilate the vessels. So, it is going to cause a compensatory local vasodilatation. So, when all the vessels in the body are getting dilated, what happens to the total peripheral resistance? The total peripheral resistance, it is going to come down. So, whenever there is less resistance for the heart to pump in, it is going to increase the cardiac output. So, this is the first reason for the increased high cardiac output in beriberi. There is another reason also. This A vitaminosis, that is thiamine deficiency, they affect the heart directly. They weaken the heart. So, what this will happen is, the heart will lose its ability to pump more blood. And this will be sensed by the organ, that is a very important organ, that is kidney. The kidneys will sense this low blood supply and they will activate a particular system that is called as renin angiotensin aldosterone system, which is also called as RAS activation. And among this, the aldosterone has the property of sodium retention. So, what it will do is, it will help to reabsorb the sodium. Along with sodium, who comes in? Along with sodium, water also comes in. So, this basically helps to increase the fluid retention in the body. So, the cardiac output is again increased indirectly. But this A vitaminosis, whenever it goes to a severe level, this weakening of the heart will cause cardiac failure also. And that's why beriberi is one condition which is given as an example for high output cardiac failure. When we read about cardiac failure, we will be discussing about high output cardiac failure and low output cardiac failures. And this beriberi is an example of high output cardiac failure. The cardiac failure can happen due to the directly due to the A vitaminosis and the high output. We have seen two reasons. One is the local metabolites, which is causing the vasodilatation, and second reason is activation of renin angiotensin aldosterone system. I hope it's clear. Thank you for listening. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much.